Hot hey. Bento. <laughs> Hot Bento. Hey, it's Eric here. I'm at the Hot Bento booth at Outdoor Retailer Snow Show 2022 in Denver, Colorado, and I'm here with Joe Grenall. Grenall. Yeah. Grenall. And uh, Joe, you've got this really cool product I have never seen. Uh, a self-heating uh, lunch there, box. There's no, there isn't, an, there isn't one on the market. This right. is the only one, and it's revolutionary. We, we've developed thermoelectric technology. We started with water bottles so we can boil water with a battery, which everybody said was impossible. We developed that. It took a couple of years, and then we spent two years developing this in R&D, getting the right size, getting the right you know thermoelectric formula, and this is where we end up, hot bento. It's like having a portable microwave oven. You, you put your food in it, then the cover has an O-ring seal, so you, you put that on. Now you can carry it in a backpack, whatever. Nothing's gonna leak out. When you're ready to eat, you double tap the button, in 10 minutes you've got a hot meal. Nice. The meal will be between 145 and 165 degrees, which is perfect eating temperature. When we double tap, you can see we've got some ridges on, on the side of the button here, and we require a double tap. It's a safety against automatic uh, uh, accidental turn on. So if you're carrying it in a backpack and something bumps against it, you don't want it turning on prematurely. <laughs> um, but, but to be specific, this is not for cooking. Like it's not for cooking; it's yeah. for warming. Okay, so, it. so you, you, you and and you you have to keep your food cold. Why? So, let's say you want it for lunch, and you're leaving in the morning. We we have an insulated tote bag that's behind me on the shelf. You can put it in there with an ice pack. Put it in a cooler. If you're in an office where you don't want to use the shared microwave, but there's a refrigerator, you can put the whole device in the refrigerator. Keep your food fresh. Oh, and I then love when that. you're ready to eat. That's when you use this. It's, it's, it's literally like having a, think of it like a portable microwave oven to heat your lunch up. That's fantastic. And, I and love the idea of throwing, just throwing that in the fridge. Yeah, that's yeah. all you got to do. That's yeah, a, or you can do it. Do you make your food the night before, so it leave it in the fridge all night and grab it. Um, and, and, you know, it ties into American meal trends. Even pre-pandemic, uh, the, the, the huge trends towards healthier food, but fast and convenient. You know, one quote was people want their getting their food as convenient as putting gas in their car. So ready meals is a huge category now. Even convenience stores are spending a lot of money updating their menus. You go to supermarkets, they've all got ready meals growing and growing as a category. People want that speed and convenience, but you get the ready meal, buy it in the morning, say, go to work, then at lunchtime, what do you do? It's cold. Here we go. Here, here's your solution. We even had a guy, he's a freeze-dried food distributor, and he bought a hot bento on his own, put his freeze-dried meal in there, put some water in, turned it on, and emailed us photos and said, this is perfect. He said it came out the right temperature, the right texture. He said it, it was absolutely perfect. So there's a lot of different applications. So it's a, you can cook if it's freeze-dried. <laughs> well, you know, again, the food's already cooked. Yeah. And we will be making, this, this is the first of a family. We, we like Lego, right? This is a Lego, this is a Lego, whatever you call sure. it piece sure and we're just going to be clipping more and more stuff on so we'll have a whole family including cooking including alternate power options and we've got a lot of fun coming fantastic oh i love it it's a really cool looking product and uh and i'm always like about bringing good food with me when i go you know i don't want to be stuck eating like fast food or you know control your diet and then in the pandemic era you know it's food safety too right you know what's going in it and mm -hmm. you don't have to use sure there's a study that was done by a university we found and it's really interesting that the most germ-laden surface in, a, in an office is a shared microwave so a lot of people don't even want to go in a shared lunchroom because of you know coronavirus right, right. but definitely don't want to use that shared microwave so now you can sit at your desk turn it on and then go walk out into the park or something and enjoy a nice hot meal there's nothing like it on the market. There, there's the closest is stuff you got to plug into your car, yeah. but from what I've been reading, most of those actually don't even work as well as this. This works really well. Batteries you can dump a lot of power out fast with our technology. Right, right, because of the DC, the way the way. It yeah, works. heating's really difficult. Warming is easy to keep something warm. Like for example, the bottles I talked about. Mm -hmm. If we want to boil water, the battery will only last 18 minutes. But if we want to keep something warm, it'll last 15 hours. So, so he, heating, active heating, is very, very energy intensive. No, that makes sense. It's uh, the physics of it. You know, it takes a lot more energy to, to, to keep things that hot. Yeah, and, and for boiling water, what's really interesting, I don't understand well, why. It's entropy, right? But, but, <laughs> but like, boil, so full boils 212 degrees. The last few degrees of that sucks up 60 percent of the power curve yeah so if you just go to 200 which is plenty for coffee and everything you get way more battery life than going to 212. 
It's just, it's, I don't know. I don't understand how that works. <laughs> But, that makes but we designed to it. You know, we know how it works. We don't know why it works. <laughs> but you take advantage of it. And, and by taking advantage of it, you get more out of the batteries and you get more yeah. out of the, you get more functionality out of it. And, and there's little tricks to use, you know, to extend the battery leaf. I like you, if you undo the latches, mm -hmm. then you get convection circulation. So the food heats more quickly and more evenly. And then if you open it up and you, you, you know, flip stir it over it. and yeah. stir it and stuff, you'll, you'll, cook your food faster so then maybe you can get multiple uses out of one charge so there's just a few little tricks that help make it work better but the main thing is it works i mean there's and there's nothing nothing else i've to never seen to. anything like that and I, i've gotten into the bento thing just traveling and trying to have good food with me yeah and I'm traveling around so. now you can have good hot food <laughs> this is awesome thank you for your time Jeff. no thank you i appreciate your interest more about this product where, where do they go hotbento.us hotbento.us and so. there's a video on there showing how it works and stuff uh, so so if you want to find out more about this uh, just check them out at hotbento.us and even better buy some there you go <laughs> thanks Joe thank you was that alright